does it. The cake is ready to be baked. Here, Vicky, bake it. Bake it. <laughs> it's baked. There's nothing like having a microwave daughter. <laughs> Here's Teddy. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi. How was work? Terrific. I feel terrific. I've got some terrific news. Oh, terrific. I heard some interesting news myself. Well, that's terrific, but me first. Mrs. Lawson, your husband has this very day come up with a design for a new synovial joint. Gee, and I was just getting used to the old one. <laughs> What is a synovial joint? They're joints used in artificial knees. And I've come up with a better design. If Joe Namath had synovial joints, he'd still be playing football. At least his knees would. <laughs> oh, honey, that's wonderful. <clears throat> and when my boss sees this new design, I'll be a shoe-in to head up the new lab at United Robotronics. New lab? Yeah. Now, what's your news? Well, Harriet was here before, and she said that her father's being considered to head up the new lab. Brandon Brindle? I don't believe it. That backbiting, backstabbing, slime ball. I... Brandon, we we're just talking about you. I <laughs> saw you get home, Teddy. I just had to come over to gloat. You will never guess who is being considered at work to, to head up the new lab. You. <laughs> I hate it when you do that. <laughs> but you're right. Tell me it makes you green with envy. Please say yes. Please, pretty please. Come on. Why should I be envious, Brandon? I'm being considered for that job, too. <laughs> yeah, me. I mean, I'm certainly smarter and more competent than you are. Of course you are. What has that got to do with it? In business, my friend, it's how you play the game. Politics. In other words... Kissing up to the boss. Yeah, no. <laughs> Gloating someplace else because Ted is going to get that job. That's right, so you can stick that in your gloat. I... You've turned my gloat into something ugly. <laughs> what a jerk. Yeah. But you know, one thing he said did make sense. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't hurt you to do a little more politicking at work like he does. Joni, no way am I going to grovel. You don't have to. Just be a little more social with your boss. Well, like uh, you could ask him to play golf with you at your club. Mr. Jennings would not play at any club that would have me for a member. <laughs> there must be something else that he likes to do. Wait a minute. There is. He loves to play pool. Yeah. We'll invite him over for dinner. We'll play a little pool. And he'll give me the job. What a great idea, except for one thing. What? We don't have a pool table. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, huh? great. You like? I rented it for the week. It's fresh, Dad. Oh, Mr. Jennings is going to love this. Yeah. So, uh, who wants a little action here, huh? Me! Okay, you're all on. Grab a cue. Okay, now... Making a pool shot is just applied physics. <laughs> now, if you hit the cue ball dead center, it'll bounce off the cushion at the same angle. It hits it like that, see? Now, if you hit the cue ball off center, it's called giving it English, like this. Hey? Okay? Yeah. English, got it. Boy, you sound like an expert, Dad. You'll wipe the table with Mr. Jennings. Are you kidding? I'm not going to blow my chance at a promotion by beating the boss, huh? Okay, girls against the guys, uh, we'll, we'll just play a short round here. Want to make a small wager, sport? Okay, what you got in mind, Swifty? Quarter a game too steep for you? Hey, I may be dumb, but I know when I'm being hustled. <laughs> make it, uh, make it a uh, dime. Hey, just trying to make a buck. Okay, <clears throat> okay Vicky, you break. Uh, here, hit the cue ball. The cue ball. And hit it hard. Hit it hard. Wow. With her, a cue ball is a cannonball. Vicky, not that hard. 
Oh, no, I didn't realize what time it is. I still have to make dinner. I, honey, don't need the market, and the, uh, the kids can stay here and play pool. Okay, yeah, but uh, take it easy, Vicky. I mean, don't knock the garage down. Right? <laughs> okay, Vicky, let's start. But just to be safe, I'll break. Got it. And his boss, Mr. Jennings, is coming over to play with him tonight. How come? Dad's going to do a little groveling. <laughs> you no, know, Jamie. The way you're standing there, you look just like Tom Cruise in The Color of Money. <laughs> I do? Yeah. Like a lean, mean pool plane machine. <laughs> How about teaching me to play pool, Jamie? Well, I'm really not that good. Oh, I'm sure you know enough about it. Is this the way you hold the stick? <laughs> no, that's all wrong. Then show me the right way. Okay. First, you put this hand there. And then put this hand here. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then you slide the stick back. Wait a second. You're just doing this while I put my arms around you. You think I'm stupid? You've got your arms around her, stupid. <laughs> okay, eight ball in the side pocket. Oh! oh, oh, oh. You scratch, yeah. you lose. Oh, Not much of a money player, are you, Todd? Ted. <laughs> well, I'm certainly not as good as you are, sir. <laughs> that looks like I owe you five bucks. Yes, indeed you do. <laughs> oh, I love you, Abe Lincoln. <laughs> I also love winning. Makes me feel good. Yeah. Boy, that's uh, really exciting news about our new cybernetics lab, Mr. Jennings. You know, <clears throat> you're going to need uh, somebody to run that lab who's really on his toes. Yes, I certainly will. And I think we both know who the man for that job is, too, Ned. Ted. <laughs> Synovial joints. That's the thing that clinched it for me. Better artificial knees. Yeah. <laughs> A brilliant idea. I'm so glad you feel that way, sir. Yes, the man to head up that lab should be the man who developed that concept. <laughs> Brandon Brindle. Well, sir, I... <laughs> Brandon Brindle? Small Wonder will return after these messages. Mr. Jennings, you can't be serious. You're not really going to make Brandon Brendel head of the new cybernetics lab. Why are you so surprised? Why, his design for a synovial joint was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, Larson. That's Lawson. <laughs> and it wasn't his design, it was mine. I should head up that new lab. The only way Brandon gets a good idea is to steal one. Oh? If Einstein worked in Brandon's department, we'd now have Brindle's theory of relativity. <laughs> and I have no reason to doubt Brindle's word, Larson. That's Lawson. My name is Ned Lawson. I mean, Ted Larson. I, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever your name is, I can tell you this. Nobody gets ahead in my company by putting another employee down. Dad, Mom needs you to come in and carve the rest to make the gravy. Excuse me, sir. I, I have to go carve the brindle. I mean, I, I mean, carve the gravy. I mean, I, I mean, crawl the melman. I, I hate to see jealousy among my employees. Hey, nice shot, Mr. Jennings. Left English would have put you in a better position to make the four ball next. <laughs> you sound like an expert, Vicky. You play as well as you talk. I'm a lean, mean, pool playing machine. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> How about a little action? Want to make a wager spot? <laughs> <laughs> a wager. <laughs> now, that's cute. Well, I tell you what, young lady. How about a shiny new dime? You're on. This I gotta see. I'll rack them. All right, make it a short rack, Jamie. Uh, six balls. Now, let me tell you something about betting, Vicky. It is very important that you honor a wager. There is nothing worse than a welcher. And I pride myself on paying my debts. They're all racked. 
Vicky, why don't you break? Okay. Wait, she's gonna break? Excuse me. <laughs> what are you doing down there? Looking for my comb? <laughs> <laughs> Ten cents, please. Well, now, uh, that's what I call beginner's luck. Oh, yeah, beginner's luck. Rock them up, Jamie. <clears throat> Tell you what, one more time, double or nothing. Double or nothing. <laughs> And I'll break this time. <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, your shot. My shot. Plays like a, a, a like a robot. Exactly like one. Six ball in the side pocket. Twenty cents, please. One more time. Double or nothing, okay? Okay. Rack 'em, Jamie. She can't keep this up forever. <laughs> Now I've got her. She'll never make the six ball. What's, uh, what's going on? Vicky and Mr. Jennings were playing pool. Oh. And Vicky won. What'd she win? The whole enchilada. <laughs> what's the whole enchilada? The company. <laughs> what company? Your company. I won United Robotronics. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. She's not kidding. <laughs> Mr. Jennings kept losing and raising the bets. Finally, he said, Now let's play for something really interesting. <laughs> uh, Mr. Jennings, you can't be serious. I mean, I, I mean, you can't turn your company over to a child. Mr. Jennings said it's important to honor a wager. And he's not a Welsher. It's, it's a matter of honor. But you could have told me that your daughter was a poon shark. Mr. <laughs> Jennings, listen, I, I, I had no idea. I assume that you'll want the company in your name, Larson. Larson! <laughs> Just give me time to clean out my desk. Don't forget to leave the key to the executive washroom. <laughs> Come on, Vicky, let's go tell Mom the great news. Mr. Jennings, this is absurd. I, I, I can't take your company. Oh, it's, it's my own fault. Vicky won it fair and square. Well, not entirely. <laughs> but even so, I, I listen, I want to give it back. I mean, and, and hey, listen, if it's a gift, then you're not a Welsher, right? No. No, that's true. Well, 
You're a very generous man, Ted. Tab. <laughs> right. You're a, you're a fine, upstanding man. And I want to tell you one other thing, too. What's that? You're an idiot for giving it back. <laughs> You told me Mr. Jennings was coming over to dinner. I thought, of course, you'd want us to come, too. I'm sure you made enough food. No! <laughs> oh, well, I'll leave Harry at home. <laughs> Brandon, taking credit for Ted's invention was a dirty trick. <clears throat> what makes you think that you're welcome here? Hey, I'm not, I'm not too enthusiastic about Ted's attitude, either. When I take over the new lab, I could fire him, you know. A, a man as brilliant and sensitive as my boss, Mr. Jennings, he'd back me up, too. Mom, you'll never believe what just happened. Vicky Clobber, Mr. Jennings, and Paul, I won the company. What? I would have won his house, too, but Jamie stopped me. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this is a crude attempt at a joke, right? It's no joke. Dad's out there right now making plans for the takeover. Ridiculous. Read my lips. Vicky won the company. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> what do you have to say now that Ted owns the company, Brandon? How? <laughs> Why don't you two wash up for dinner? Come on, Biggie. Let's go practice firing people. <laughs> Honey! Brandon, uh, what are you doing here? Is it true that Vicky won the company? Well, yes, but... Teddy, I, Teddy, I, my I, hero, my idol, my best buddy! <laughs> it suddenly occurs to me, I forgot your birthday. How about I buy you a new car? <laughs> you might be interested to know hey, that... Hey, 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 hey. I'm talking to my boss here. You mind, Flunky? <laughs> <laughs> Ted, you know what's always been the matter with our company? What? Him! Bad management! That clown couldn't run a flea circus! <laughs> Uh, Brandon, I, I think there's something you should know. I do. I do. I know that you deserve the company, Ted, because you are brilliant, not like this flake. Flake? <laughs> I just, I, I don't know why I stole your design. Teddy, please forgive me. I, I just wow. lost my hair. Brando, excuse me. Didn't you tell me that that was your design? <laughs> Take an idiot like you to think a moron like me could come up with something like that? <laughs> veins are standing out in Mr. Jennings' neck. Uh, Brandon, uh, I gave United Robotronics back to Mr. Jennings. So, uh, it's still his company, and he's still your boss. <laughs> Where am I? I have amnesia. I'm not responsible for whatever I've been saying. Hi. You left your wallet on the dresser, Daddy. Who are you? And why are you calling me Daddy? What do you mean, who am I? Uh, your father just got a sudden case of amnesia. Oh, really? Then I better take him home. My name is Harriet, and I'm your daughter. Oh. We live next door. Mm -hmm. My allowance is a hundred dollars a week. <laughs> and you're three weeks behind, fella. <laughs> Hi, is dinner ready? Obviously, I owe you an apology, Tim. Ted. <laughs> and I want to thank you again for giving back the company. Well, uh, there goes my key to the executive washroom. <laughs> and may I also say that I'd like for you to head up our new lab. That is, uh, if you want the job. Oh, he sure does. Uh, thank you, Mr. Jennings. <laughs> Just be patient. It'll be a little while before it'll be open. Oh, how long's a little while? Well, let's see. There's the uh, topographical survey, and then uh, the seepage test, and of course uh, the environmental impact uh, report, etc., etc., etc. And uh, I think I can safely say that we should be in operation by the turn of the century. <laughs> turn of the century? Oh yes. Be a wonderful climax to your career, Tab. <laughs> see. How about a quick game of pool? 
just for laughs. Eight ball, nine ball, rotation or straight? Not, Not you! you. <laughs> hey, just trying to make a buck. <laughs>